Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the iPhone uh, mouse oh, webinar. Mouse so uh, this is kind of sixth webinar or eight months webinar. Today we are we have uh, two speakers, uh, one uh, two uh, experts from China. Uh, our moderator was uh, Jia Zhou Wang from uh, Fudan University, China. And our speaker today is uh, Gong Guan Zhong uh, from Shandong uh, Cancer uh, Hospital. So uh, I first I would like to introduce uh, our moderator, uh, Dr. Jia Zhou Wang. Uh, Dr. Jia Zhou Wang uh, graduated from Fudan uh, University. Currently, uh, he is the uh, research assistant. Uh, he's uh, as an associate professor in the Department of Radiation and College in the Cancer Hospital of Fudan University. Uh, he also is uh, the group leader of medical physics translational research uh, in, Fudan, uh, in the Department of Radiation and College, Cancer Hospital of Fudan University. Uh, he's a member of the American Association of Physics in Medicine. He had been uh, published uh, uh, Lots of uh, scientific papers, uh, most uh, focus on the uh, medical physics. So uh, now I would like to hand my uh, microphone to Dr. Wang. For, he's going to moderate our today's uh, webinar. Uh, thank you, Dr. Jing. Uh, welcome to uh, good morning, good evening, uh, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our uh, fourth monthly webinar. Today we have invited uh, the Dr. Gong Guan Zhong. Gong Guan Zhong uh, was graduated uh, from the Tsinghua University. Uh, he was uh, deputy director of radiation physics Techno technology department. He was mainly engaged in basic uh, research and uh, clinical application of precise radiotherapy and uh, guided uh, by many uh, by medical image processing, uh, I will know that uh, uh, Dr. Gong have uh, many have uh, was a PI of many uh, national uh, foundations, including Chinese uh, National Nature Scientist Science uh, Foundation. Uh, and uh, uh, I will welcome the Dr. Gong to give our speech. Uh, his talk was uh, clinical application of MI simulation for radiation therapy. So, uh, uh, Dr. Wong. Yes, thank you, Dr. Jin. Uh, yes, thank you, Dr. Wang. Uh, I will share the screen. Hello, everybody. My name is Gong Guan Zhong. I come from Shandong Cancer Hospital. Today, I will introduce the, the clinical application introduction of the MR simulation for radiation therapy. First, uh, first of all, let me introduce the definition of the RT simulation. We have been talking about uh, radiation therapy simulation all days. What exactly is uh, radiation therapy simulation? Radiation therapy simulation was to convert the patient's uh, anatomical information into the digital information using imaging methods by simulating the patient's actual position during radiation therapy and submitting the information to TPS for RT planning. In theory, all medical imaging devices can use it for radiation therapy simulation. The core function of the radiation therapy simulation is to distinguish the tumor and the normal tissues. I will introduce the MR simulation following the five aspects. Why, what, how, who, and where. Why do we need MR simulation? What do we need to prepare? How do we use MR simulation? What can use MR simulation? Where is the future of the MR simulation? So first of all, why do we need MR simulation? Why do we use MR guided radiation therapy? This is a review published in the Cancer General of the Clinic in, 20, in 2021, which mentions that the ultimate growth of the continuous evolution of the new art radiation therapy technologies is to continuously reduce the normal tissue dose while ensure clinical outcome. 
compared to the conventional CT, MI can better reflect the daily position of the tumor, repeatability of the dose distribution, and the response of status. This is the MI imaging of one MPC patient undergoing radiation therapy, and the tumor boundaries can be clearly seen on T1 and T2 images. And the perfusion images all us to analyze the blood flow difference within the tumor objectively, which could be useful to offer basis for the definition of the percentageized target areas and the dose distribution. Our hospital has three MRC machines from GE, Siemens, and Philips companies. Currently, we perform MRC for nearly 30, uh, 30 patients every day, and is expected to complete over 6,000 patients by 2023. Our hospital is conducting simulation works of the whole body tumor containing head and neck cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, and liver cancer, pervitic carcinoma, and soft tissue carcinoma. This is our team, this is our MRC teams. Our leader is Yin Yun. He is a famous professor of medical physics. Before using MRC, we must recognize the difference between MRC and my MR radio, uh, radiology. For example, the scanning protocol of, for brain tumors. For, for MR radiology, we generally choose the six slice scanning with angle. Slot thickness was four millimeters and the spacing was one to two millimeters. Why for MR simulation? We need to, we need to <coughs> choose the skipper tangent positive X-ray scan and the slice thickness was, was only three millimeters and the spacing was zero millimeters. As this is the basis for design for design radiation therapy plans, we must learn that for MR radiology, the pathology outcome was obtained after MR imaging. While for MR simulation, MR imaging was achieved after pathology outcome. We not only need to be able to see where is the tumor, but also to see the boundary of the tumor clearly and accurately. It's very easy to see where is the tumor, but the boundary is very difficult. More important, we should be able to evaluate the biology status of the organ and tumor objectively, which will be offer more information for radiation therapy. Therefore, a series of the changes must be made when applying MR simulation, such as the change in philosophy, thinking, technology, and the requirement. The second, what do we need to prepare? Also, MR simulation originated from the diagnostic MR. It has a significant difference from the traditional diagnostic MR. Firstly, in the software and hardware configuration, MR simulation requires a sixth element. The so one is big ball MR simulation machines. The two, external mobile laser system. The third, radiation frequency coverage for radiation therapy. The fourth, space plane bed for MRC. Five, prefabricated IT skin screens. Six, MRC QC phantom and problem. Simulation to the CT, similar to the CT simulation. Theoretical, the large the largest ball of the MRC, the better. However, a, a big ball can cause serious problems, such as a even magnetic fraud and noise. Correctly, it's believed that one 60, 60 centimeter, centimeter ball can solve over 95% MRC application. When you're purchasing or modifying MR simulation, it's important to choose the right fixing device. 
Traditional carbon fiber pitching set up device may not be suitable for MR simulation. And it's commented to use the fiber glasses or KFR materials. At first, the CTC, the, the, CTC, the, the CT simulation was achieved before the MR simulation. There were some details should be considered. We tested the performance of volumetric scanning and the same slice construction. It's, uh, it's laying the foundation for secondary imaging reconstruction. Three, three millimeter slice thickness with, with three millimeter slice spacing is necessary. Whether to contrast or not, depend, depend, uh, depend on the simulation of the tumor. Well, Repeat enhancement contrast of the tumor one time is not recommended. It's recommended to perform the CT simulation and MR simulation scan every other day or at an interval of more than four hours. The rich clear allergies should be kitchens. The reference is derived in the European source, source <coughs> Society of of your data and reproductive radiology can trust and data guidelines. So working is team. The following is uh, how do we use MR simulation? As mentioned earlier, a series of the changes must be made while applying MR sim. The focus of the debate is actually the selection and application of the skin screens, such as the much such the multiple screens MRI imaging of the head and the neck tumors, which is one is the golden standard, and which one should be re redundant for reduction therapy. The first thing we need to see is the age of the tumors, followed by the internal biology information of the tumor. I will introduce the MRI scene skin screens for brain tumors radiation therapy in our hospital. The first one is Brower T1 plane three-dimensional volumetric scan with one millimeter thickness. This screens was used to count the hard cameras. The second one is DWI function images with three millimeter thickness, which was used to observe the tumor status. The third one is the T2 and anatomical images with three millimeter thickness. Mainly shows the edemars and the tumor status. And the contrast against was injected into the wings of the patient at the beginning of the risk screens. And the scan time will, will last as three, three minutes. The fourth one is the brow T1 contrast three dimensional volumetric scan with one millimeter thickness. This, this screen was used to count the edge and evolution the status of the brain tumor. The, five, the, five, the fifth is the T2 flare with three millimeter thickness, which was evaluated the EDMAS range. We also scanned the function images, such as the three-dimensional ASR DTI. The selection of the MR screens are all purposeful. For small brain metastasis, it's better to misread them than to overlook. So the, <clears throat> so the three, dimension, uh, so the three dimension, dimensional, less one millimeter thickness enhanced contrast scan model is necessary. This is the real symptom of the brain metastasis. Patient. When the and when the MR diagnosis uh, revolved one lure, the CT simulation found two lure, and the MR simulation found three lure, three lure. To be curious, how much did we actually miss it in daily work? Is not clear. In our hospital, hub compass was counted on one millimeter MR plane T1 images. The structure of the hub campus is characterized by small lines, a small size, complex shape, and the delineation of the, uh, of the uh, hypercampus is significantly depend, depend on the image quality.
The video show, showed the structure of the, of the hippocampus counter. It can be learned easily that high quality image is the foundation of the, for definition of the hippocampus, which will be used for to evaluate the dose and predict the relative injury risk of the hippocampus objectively. The fix is not optimistic. We have conducted one research on the repeatability of the hippocampus segmentation and the lowest of the repeatability of the manual segmentation is only 47%. While the accuracy of the automatic segmentation procedure based on the AI can reach to 87%. For a volume on only 2.5 milliliters, the accuracy of the 18, 80, 80, 87% is already very high for clinical application. In the past two years, our team has been working on the research and the promotion of the standardized segmentation method for hypercampus structures and conducting in the depends research on the reducing on the reducing response of the hypercampus structure based on the high pressing segmentation method. This is a patient with a caustic neuroma. You can see the tumor in the scene sliced MR skin images. It's very, be, it's very beneficial in showing the tumor course in the internal aud uh, auditory meters. The internal auditor, aud <coughs> auditory meters is like a barrel mouse. You can see the whole tumor is like an old record player. And the range of the tumor in the internal aud uh, auditory meters is very clear. It can help us to defend uh, definitely the growth tumor target volumes. There is a one, there is a, the T1 com, uh, component in the T2 flare images. We want to start the difference between pre and post enhancement flare. You can see from the imaging stage, the enhanced effect on the tumor age is very obvious. And this effect, this effect has a very spect, uh, specific effect in the diagnosis of the managerial lesion. The enhanced contrast T2 flare images has a, a very high advantage in displaying small metastasis of the medinus, which has become a routine sequence in our hospital MR simulation. Of course, we have also tried new imaging screens now for radiation therapy, such as three-dimensional ASL, this is a patient, patient with glioma, blast, uh, glioma, uh, glioma and the difference, difference in perfusion can be clearly seen through three-dimensional three ASL, which can guide us in delineating the sub-target volumes. This is the three-dimensional three ASL CBF comparison of the glioma, glioma uh, patients pre and post radiation therapy. It can be found that there is a significant decrease in the high perfusion areas of the tumor after radiation therapy. We were to establish the relationship between the brain tissues and the tumor allure, cere cerebral blood flow changes and radiation dose during the radiation therapy for brain metastasis. In the past, in the past, when drawing the GTV for non-enhanced low-grade globalistomas, it was generally based on the flare edemous areas. But the true tumor ranges was difficult to determine. So Three-dimensional ASL technology can explain the high perfusion areas enriched by tumor cells, providing a reliable basis for local high dose art radiation therapy for low grade glioblastoma. The reason, the reason why low grade 
glioomas are not enhanced. It's that the blood brain barrier is not changed. And the in, in contrast, uh, against counter into the tumor. However, after a few days of radiation therapy, the blood brain barriers were damaged because of radiation exposure. And the tumor can enhance. The, when the enhanced contrast again uh, can enter the tumors, which is consistent uh, with the high perfusion areas, which were detained. Determined determine, uh, from the three dimensional air cell images. The fourth aspect is uh, who can use MR simulation. Before use MR simulation, let's talk the safety of, uh, 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 assurance on the MR, sim MR simulation for, firstly. We often see that the safety for MR scanning is nothing small, and sometimes the effect uh, mag magnetic force is unimaginable. MR scanning can cause significant harm to patients. The metal object inspection, uh, inspection before MR simulation is very important. And every practitioner must pay attention to it. No, no matter who wants to enter the MR scanning rooms, metal detection scanning must be carried out. And it can't be compressed compared to Unreported accident. The reported accident of MR are only the tip of the iceberg. If one hospital wanted to do the MR simulation work, it is recommended to put together a team containing doctor, nurse, scanning technicians, and medical physicists. Nurses are mainly responsible for the contrast agenda preparation and the injections. Scanning technicians are mainly responsible for MR simulation patient setup and the emergency scanning. And the medical physicists are mainly responsible for equipment QA. And the doctor are mainly responsible for defi definition the range of the tumor and the normal, normal organs. The last aspect is where is the future MR simulation? The combination of the MR multi-dimensional multi parameters anatomic and the functional imaging provides rich information for evalu evaluating RT response, which will be which will develop and promote the biology guided radiation therapy. And the, those painting guided by MR images had become clinical practice. In the past, there has been Let's research on MR radiomics, mainly due to the MR having more skinning screens, complex parameters, large oh, wow. uncertain factors, and a lack of the um, unified skinning standard compared, compared to CT. However, the new view point holds that is the press is press is because MR. Much screens and much and much the images can reward more disease info, uh, information, and the campus application of the disease images can prove the accuracies and of tumor diagnosis, treatment, and the prognosis. In the future, the research on the multi the research on on the multi screens MRI imaging radiomics will be one of the hot spots in MR-guided radiation therapy with the help of the seeing slice scanning on the MR simulation meetings. So combination of the MI and AI will play an important role in tumor scanning and diagnosis. Our team has developed a software for scanning the brain matrix test nodes based on the MR and the artificial intelligence. In the future, we can achieve automatic detection and diagnosis of the brain test uh, test like the noodles. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, those nice, nice speech. Uh, there was uh, three questions. Uh, uh, the first was about uh, the CSI patient. So. Uh, one uh, audience was asked that uh, uh, 
uh, how to perform MRI for CSI patients. Uh, uh, Dr. Dong have some uh, opinion about uh, this. Uh, pardon? How to? Uh, perform the, uh, the MRI for CSI patients, the bronal spinal patients, those patients, uh, the uh, I think the 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 chrono spell the the um, radio spinal irradiation. Yeah, yeah. Uh,能不能用中文说一下那个大题一首？我没听清楚你这个。呃，他说是那个椎体的那种肿瘤。哦，椎体瘤，哦哦哦。呃，呃。颅内跟椎体啊，颅颅内和椎体啊，啊，对对对对，啊，先，先，啊，呃，颅内和椎体的话，呃，椎体的话，来，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯
啊，哈辛尔，然后是 antiviral and tissue imaging， 是是呃 ，I we I can show you， 哎哎，一 sorry， 呃。Yeah, it's very uh, it's clear. clear. It's here. It's here. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's very clear in MRI. I think. Yeah. <laughs> nice design. Mm. So uh, I think it's uh, all our questions. Uh, uh, I have one question. Can I ask now? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, good afternoon, Doctor Gong. Uh, uh, my name is Abid. So currently, I'm practicing in Muscat. So we are using MR guided drug therapy. For that, we are using very rarely the functional imaging. Uh, can you please explain uh, how much often the, are you using functional imaging for the brain neuromas or all the all the brain scans? Can you guide me about the functional imaging, please? We have not used this functional imaging. Ah, functional imaging. Ah, that. Um, functional imaging. Ah, ah. 呃、uh, ，thank 呃、uh, ，thank you very much. The function imaging, the function imaging, uh, the MR function imaging is guided radiation therapy in, in our hospital. Uh, has used for uh, uh four years. The uh, for example, the DWI, the diffusion uh, diffusion uh, uh, the imaging. The second one is the uh perfusion uh, PWI, the perfusion weighted imaging. Uh, as uh, as showing this uh, this slice. You can see the difference of the perfusion of this tumor. I will, we can do the uh, we we will do the those painting, uh, um, which can help you to give the high dose to the high perfusion and the low dose to the low perfusion. Um, it can be uh, can be uh, evaluate uh, uh, can rise the dose of the tumor uh, the whole tumor. Uh, uh, we have published. Uh, we have published uh, uh, about uh, three articles about the those uh, those painting uh, guided uh, function imaging. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, so I think uh, uh, I, uh, we need to thank the doctor again for his nice speech. I will give the host to the doctor G. Okay. Uh, thank you for the nice sharing of the topic. So, uh, thank you for all the audience uh, for attending and the questions. Uh, actually, uh, it's a very uh, interesting uh, topic of the MR guided or MR simulation, where currently it's a very uh, hot topic in the radiotherapy. So now I would like to just show you our next uh, webinar. It's called the School Webinar. For so this webinar, we will have. Uh, three talks. It lasts for three hours, so it's uh it's August nineteenth. So it's uh I think it's uh, the Saturday, uh Saturday afternoon, uh Beijing time. So uh, next time we will have a team from Australia to talk about the image guided in the therapy. So hope to see you. Uh, hope you uh register soon, and we uh hope to see you soon in the next uh, webinar. So. Uh, that's all, Mary. Do you have something more to add? So, uh, if no more for further questions or comments, uh, we will uh, stop here today. So, thank you again for uh, for the speakers and for the moderators, and thank all the audience for attending this uh, webinar. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>